Okay, Cycles versus Eevee. Which is a better render engine for visual effects projects? Hello fellow 3D enthusiast, my name is Ian, and today I wanted to talk about, well, I already mentioned it in the intro, Cycles and Eevee. Now I've had some experience in the past working with both of these engines for visual effects projects, and if I had no context to this question, I would just pretty quickly say Cycles, just because it's the most realistic, but if we take a closer look at Eevee and some of the ways it can be applied to visual effects projects, we start to realize that if you know what you're doing, it can actually be used pretty effectively for visual effects projects. So let's flip the question around. How can these engines be used in a way where we can optimize for fast render times, but still get nice realistic results when we need them? Let's take a look at Cycles to start with. Cycles is a ray tracing engine, and it really excels when it comes to photorealistic rendering, so lighting and shading, things like that. But the thing with Cycles is it takes a huge amount of time to render out visual effects, usually because they're animations, and each frame can easily take several minutes to render out. So if you're trying to add in realistically shaded objects and creatures, Cycles is probably your best bet. Even though it takes a lot of time, it's probably worth it. Eevee, on the other hand, is a real-time engine, so <laughs> it's faster, and it can actually do a really good job with visual effects if you use it in the right way. You might be asking yourself, what's the right way to use Eevee for visual effects? That's justifiable, but I might reply to you with utter nonsense, which, I mean, that's probably not unheard of for me, but I guess since this is an educational video, I should probably respond with helpful things. Okay, good ways to use Eevee for visual effects? Well, at the top of the list, I put creating clean plates. It's fairly simple to use some pictures that I took on set and drop those into Eevee and then just make sure the camera movement is matching up and bam, you got a clean plate. Now since these images are completely shadeless, Eevee is really great. It just tells you how it is, displays those image textures, no fancy bounce lighting you need to worry about, no big render times. Another way Eevee really shines is when you're using additive elements. So bright stuff like lasers and smoke clouds and all that emissive stuff. Once again, no reason to compute light paths, all that complex bouncy stuff. So yeah, use Eevee for that kind of thing. All right, let me know in the comments if you found this useful. And if you did find it useful and you'd like to learn more about visual effects in Blender, there's a link in the description that says five tips for integrating your CG objects into live action footage. And that'll lead you to a free tutorial that I've created to help you with your visual effects learning. But hey, I'd say that's about it. I hope you have an excellent day, and cheers!